Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So, um, still sideways for all intents and purposes, but um, the week has been really slow. And then going into the close yesterday, we had this uh, little bit of a, a climb here. So, we do have a string of data coming out today. Obviously, we've got uh, the jobs number coming out. Uh, we have um, durable goods coming out. We also have the FOMC minutes uh, due today as well. So basically all and new home sales as well, which is also can drive price. So so that's all data that should come out tomorrow. But because tomorrow's public holiday with Thanksgiving, it's coming out now. So are we top of range or are we sort of breaking the structure to the upside? So Let's just have a look at what we want to be looking at. Firstly, on the three hour, I'm still not convinced of anything. Uh, as you can see, we you know, we sort of made this rounding bottom, but at the top of a move, so I'm not paying attention to that. Uh, could be merit for some kind of a head and shoulders here, but also not paying attention to that. What I am paying attention to is these levels. So I'm going to pick them up on the hour. It's going to be a lot easier to to talk through. So the first level is this one here, and that's at 34.011 or 3400. Uh, that would obviously be something that you'd want to see a pullback. Look at the oscillators. They want to be jumping in long up here. Um, and then obviously we've got this area here at 33,900. Uh, and then below that, you've got a lot of structure as well. So there is the next level at 33.827. So this was a fairly significant move to the upside that's uh 1.2 percent 400 400 points but in the bigger scheme of things i still suspect we are sideways so what we're waiting for is some of the data will all the dates be completed today and we're looking for put hopefully a pullback onto structure for us to start looking for a move to the upside if we start getting some data that is not what everybody's expecting um, and we fall rapidly past 33393, uh, 3, that would be my trigger for short, but they would only pick that up next week. So for me today, looking for um, data as expected, no weird things coming out in the noise today. Um, probably just a quick pullback, find some structure, and then an opportunity to buy into it. Or alternatively, we're going to stay above the range, and then next week we can we'll trade this thing continually to the upside. Um, just switching across the 15 minutes, uh, wasn't really much. But there's the breakout there. Let me just use my cursor. So you can see there was um, the structure there, the rejection. We went past it, so that validates that. So you're looking for a pullback onto that. And there's your pullback inside bar and an engulfing bar on this area here. So uh, that's kind of, um, there was an opportunity here and that was around uh, quarter past 11. Um, so it's quarter past 12. Sorry, math is not working today. Quarter past one. So uh, quarter past one my time, which is GM, uh, GMT plus two so that was before the u.s open so it was sort of late in the um well afternoon session for europe where we got that structure and if you look at that that was pretty much you're looking for an entry there you're looking for a stop there 56 point stop loss and that would have probably been the area to aim for which is 226 points so there was definitely something on the 15 minute yesterday um I'd be watching for the same thing today. Look at the 15 minutes already. So you know, even a pullback onto this level here at 34.011. If you see this kind of structure at that, you can have a short, quick, tight stop loss uh, for a continuation to the upside. But bear in mind, we've got data coming out and we are top of range on the hours. So I'd want a deeper pullback right now. So we're still sit on hands, but uh, it is starting to build a case for a continuation up. Uh, but it could also just sort of turn around and come and test the bottoms here and then uh, another leg of the the range and we wait for next week. So 50-50 um, still. Anyway, that's kind of my view today. I'm not really interested in getting involved just yet. We will wait for the noise to get out of the way and for the, the holidays to finish. 
and then we will look at it again. Hope it helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Cheers for now.